welcome to the Jet Ski Fishing Channel. This episode's all about how to safely cross a bar. In particular, we're going to be crossing the Matarangi or Wangapoa Harbour bar, launched out of Matarangi. And uh, this is the same bar, same harbour that serves Matarangi and Wangapoa. So I'm going to show you how to safely cross it and give you a few tips and techniques. So they'll apply in general to other bars but you should always check with a local before crossing a bar because every bar is different. And even this bar, just because you crossed it yesterday, it's not going to be the same today. So the first tip is always check with a the local. They'll be able to give you the local knowledge, and local information about the bar, how it's, where it's best to cross. They'll give you an approximate maybe location. But what's even better is to go out with the local the first time you cross the bar. It's great to go out and have a good look and see just how it, how it looks, how it behaves. Every single bar behaves differently and even this bar behaves differently on any different day at any different time. Sometimes you can go out along the beach and get straight through without really going over a wave. Other days you don't have any choice at all but to go literally over the bar through the waves. So, once you've got your local knowledge, the next thing to have is your safety equipment. Make sure that whether you're on a jet ski, a boat, whatever you're on, you must always have a life jacket on. That is vitally important. Even if you think it's calm or it's not going to be a problem, you must always have a life jacket on. And contact Coast Guard to let them know before you cross and after you've crossed. And that's really important if the bar's a bit rough. So those are the two kind of safety factors. Make sure everybody on board is holding on or sitting down because you may have to accelerate sharply to get over a wave or around a wave before it breaks or something like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head out, have a little look at the bar and then cross it. So life jacket's on, hold on tight. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've just successfully crossed the bar. We're just behind the bar now. It's about two and a half, three metres deep here. We have to be a little bit careful we don't get pushed in. This is where the swells are just starting to swell up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to get back in through the bar. Again, same things apply. Life jackets on. Make sure someone's showing you how to get through it if you can. Call the Coast Guard to let them know you're crossing and call them again once you've crossed. The next thing is to just sit out the back of the bar for a bit and watch the waves go through. You'll often get some big waves come through in sets, so sets of three often, but just have a look at it and keep an eye on it. When you can see a calm patch coming, that's when you go. And what you want to do is you want to pick a wave and sit behind it. If you maintain that direction just behind it, so if it's breaking in front of you, that's okay. It may break some days. You can sit just behind it, and that way, the wave behind will never catch you up. If you turn around and look at the wave behind, it might look a bit scary. There's a big wave rolling in behind you. But as long as you keep up with that wave in front, that wave behind typically will not catch you. Waves don't pass each other. They keep moving at the same speed until they break on something. So once that wave breaks, that's when you need to go over it, once it kind of breaks and dissolves. But while it's just rolling, don't be tempted to jump it. That's where people get in trouble. They go over the front of a wave, hit the sand, the boat rolls, and that's when you're gonna have problems. Typically, what creates a swell on a bar is sea swell, not wind. Today, there's only about five or 10 knots of wind, but there's a good meter and a half of swell on the bar. And that's been created by a northeasterly flow that's been going for a few days, and that's where people get caught out. They'll see that the forecast is only five knots or 10 knots, and they'll think, beauty, off they go, out through the bar, bang, it's all over. Rolled it, just like that. What we'll do now is we'll go through, and I'll show you what it looks like to go back through the bar. Okay, so I've waited and watched, picked my calm spot, went through the current sucking out, so that's going to be the deepest part of the bar. And now I'm going to pick a wave, I'm going to get behind it, and I'm going to sit behind that wave for as long as I can until it dissolves. Hold on, here we go. easy as long as you know how it's done. Don't be tempted to be a bit smart and try and go through it at speed because that's when you're going to get into trouble. Always stop, always have a look, always have your safety gear and it'll be safe every time. So now, now you know how to cross the Matarangi Bar, well you've got some advice on how to cross the Matarangi Bar but if it's your first time always go out with someone else and see how it's done. Okay. Be safe out there. See you next week.